Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to an end of month faves and fails where I have been trying a lot of makeup, a lot of different things for hair, makeup, I've got some fun lifestyle things I am super excited about. Now if you missed my last video, I'm going to be linking it here for you guys. I did a video that has been going around the YouTubes about all of the makeup that I would buy first if I lost my entire collection. And that has a ton of essentially favorites in it because if I'm gonna go out and buy this first if everything were wiped out, that just tells you how much I love something. So definitely be sure if you're just wanting a whole highlight reel of the best of the best, check out that video. I will link it right there and below for you. But today I got some serious throwbacks. I have some things that I've been trying all month long and I'm really just leaning into all of these summery vibes. I am ready ready for it all so my friends grab your tea grab your snack grab your water get comfy and let's get ready to go into a bunch of favorites and some fails cheers i recently received a little bit of pr from my friends at pacifica and by a little bit i mean i showed you guys on my instagram it was a lot so if you don't follow me there you can follow me right here i show you guys some of the stuff behind the scenes and i have been trying some base products to start my face to kind of like work into the rest of the makeup and i'm really impressed with some of these things some stuff i'm still trying so i'm not going to tell you everything yet stay tuned be subscribed because i'm going to give you even more in-depth reviews but there are some already clear standouts that I have got to share with you. The first being, I have actually worn this primer ahead of time a few different days with different styles of makeup and my makeup has lasted really well. This is the Pacifica Matte Greens Skin Solve. This is a priming, blurring, and mattifying primer, and I love a pump. I love the quality of the component. I actually was wearing this in the last video that I was just telling you about with some favorites, and I was actually discussing different primers that I would love. And I just had to keep reminding myself I wasn't actually using those even though my makeup was performing as if I had because it really did make my makeup really easy to apply. I don't see any pores. I was able to really blur. I am wearing this today. Again, it's a primer, so it's not like the most visually satisfying thing to watch, but it does come out green and not too liquidy. It's very like a fluffy I would say creamy products that you can work in and it does a really nice job. It sits on the skin really nicely. It dries down and when you apply your makeup on top, it just goes on really seamless. I was really impressed. It does have a little bit of a scent to her. Is this like an aloe scent? This is something I am playing with this summer and so far I'm really liking it. This is truly something I have been trying and I wanted you to know I'm enjoying it. Something else that I'm starting my morning with and honestly my evenings as well is a lip oil I received from my re recent BoxyCharm. Ipsy, I still feel like I'm lying to you by saying BoxyCharm because it really is Ipsy. The thing I like about this quality of a lip oil though is that it's going to go extremely fast. So I know if I don't tell you about it now, it's going to be gone by the next time I do a faves and fails. So let me just tell you, this product is almost gone already and this is from my most recent box, I do believe. This is from Unfiltered Beauty Co. And again, this is a lip oil here. The thing about a quality lip oil, the way I like it, is it's a little thick. It really coats the lips so it will last. Um, but when it's a thick product, you go through it pretty quickly. So I wanted to let you know if you did receive this in a subscription box, be it Ipsy or whether it be BoxyCharm. Did this come in the bag? I can't remember, honestly. Either way, if you have this or something like it, I really do like it. I like it that it's thick. I like that it coats the lips, makes them juicy. But also, this is how I like to start my morning so that way I've got some hydration to the lips or at the end of the day as well when I'm just kind of like relaxing or rotting in front of the TV at the end of the day. I like this just to keep everything nice and coated. But you don't, you don't get it for a long time. So that's why I would always have a hard time like spending a lot of money on it, which is why I love getting these kind of things in subscription boxes because 
I don't really want to spend 20 bucks on something that is going to be gone within like a couple of weeks. Maybe less, depending on how much I use it. Can I just tell you, this is maybe a weird thing to put into the beginning part of this video or the front end of this video, but it is like a throwback time. And if there is anything about me, I am a nostalgic person. I am. And honestly, Bath and Body Works has thrown back out some of our staples from like middle school time frames. And I had to go to Bath and Body Works just to make sure I didn't miss out on my cucumber melon. I know that they're doing body mists and stuff like that again too, but honestly, I could not do that to myself or my husband, to be honest. I had a feeling I was just sitting there staring at the whole like counter and I was like, if I ended up buying a body mist, it's going to go to waste because I can guarantee you Adam would not like the scent, but also I don't think I'd want to smell like that 100% of the time. So I got two lotions that are the throwback scents. Like I said, I absolutely had to get the cucumber melon. This is the 25th anniversary of this scent. Um, yeah. I'm not sorry. I own it. I'm happy about it. I've already used it. And I think that was like the main scent for me, but I did remember Juniper Breeze was a big big smell also at that time. There was a lot of others too. So if you've already shopped the sale, and I know some of you have because I've seen it on your Instagrams, let me know which was your favorite scent. There was like four or five, I think, like massive scents from when we were kids going around in the day. I had to get the lotions. I got the body creams that have like the 24 hour moisture lock into it because that just makes the most sense for my lifestyle right now and the smells are legit. Honestly, the, the aromas just take me back. Just back to the days of like when you were leaving gym class and you sprayed, maybe that's why I can't do the scents again. You just sprayed yourself or you had the lotion on and you just were trying to smell good after a gym class. All of us did it and if you didn't, then you were just a better person than me because this is why the scent is just so ingrained in my brain personally. Which one did you get if you did do the throwbacks? And tell me what you got. Did you get the mist? Did you get the body mist? Did you get the lotions? What did you do? Gosh, cucumber melon just really takes me back. I think this was the one that was the most popular in my school, but a lot of people said that Juniper Breeze was, or what is that other one that was super popular? I think cucumber melon was the one that had the choke hold on my Midwest town though. I also have really dry legs, so the moisture locking 24 hour lotion just made the most sense for me personally, as grown up Nicole. Last month I felt like I had a ton of fails, and that was really unfortunate. So if you missed that video, I'll go ahead and link it above for you so you could see what I was loving, because there was some good faves in there, but there was a decent amount of fails. This month it was a lot harder to suss through because I felt like I was really liking a lot of things, but some stuff is still in the early trial phase with me, so I need to give things a couple more tries before I truly decide if they're a fail or a fail that I have been trying this month. So stay tuned. I'm still working through a few things. I've got some new blushes that I'm trying today that I'm actually not mad about. And I think that I still look really creamy on my skin. I did pull out a lot of the punches today though using my good powders and whatnot. But a blush that I have found I have been using since the beginning of June is a really affordable one. So again, I'm back on my AOA kick. This is from the Shop Miss A line, and I've just been loving one of these little mini blushes here. This is the AOA Perfect Blush. This one here is in the shade Dandy. I tend to like either a more coral base blush or I tend to go a little bit warmer because I feel like it kind of goes better with my skin tone, goes better with my bronzers. I'm not too much of like a Barbie pink blush girl, which I know is definitely roaming around right now because the Barbie movie is coming out in July. Yes, I'm gonna go see it. Are you gonna see it? Tell me. I like that this is matte. It goes beautifully on the skin. It doesn't do too much of like caking, you can layer it, you can do a light dusting of it. I think it does a beautiful job, super easy to use. And I've noticed a lot of my blushes from past seasons have a little bit of shimmer to them. And I love those too. But when I'm trying other shimmery products like I am right now, I didn't want them competing. So I needed something matte that I could trust, that I could build up, that I loved the color. And that hit all these marks for me. I've had this for two years now and I've not even hit pan and it's a tiny little guy so you can get a lot of pigment out of this and again a dollar you gotta love that about shop miss a I'm still trying to um, plan an order with them pretty soon I think because I do have some things I want to rediscover from that line this is the blush I'm currently trying right now if you're curious I did just get a PR shipment in from milk cosmetics which I'm always so excited when bigger brands find me and ask if they can send me some PR just no strings attached 
because I'm not used to that. I don't get that a ton as a smaller content creator. So when that happens, I get really excited, but I'm also still very honest, which is why I'm like, again, I need more time to mess with some of these products. But the blush that I am liking today is a milk blush and it's creamy. And you know how I feel about creamy products. I'm such a powder girl. When something's like catching my attention, that's another formula, I gotta let you know. Now this is a lip and cheek product. I don't tend to like things that cross pollinate in that way just cause I feel like that doesn't work for me. So I was not sure how I would like this. They actually sent me two. One is in this very approachable shade for me and this is the one I'm wearing today called Work, W-E-R-K, cause we're working it. It glides on super smooth, super easy. I did use my fingertips this morning and then just pressed it into my cheeks. And I think it does a really beautiful job. You can see that it's pretty opaque, but again, I did just swatch this quite a bit directly from the component but you can also blend her down. I like this a lot so far, but again, this isn't just like a fave yet, cause I just, again, just tried it. I just received it this week. The other shade, whoo, this one, I mean, I could see maybe trying to put this on my lips maybe. This one is called Quickie. Definitely more of a deep purple berry shade, I would say. And this may be a good cheek color for fall for me maybe. Definitely similar in the formulation so I feel like it does blend down pretty nicely and there have been a few in the summertime that I have liked that are creamy like this and still playing with these but I thought you I'd let you know kind of like what I am currently testing behind the scenes and this is the milk makeup cosmetics lip and cheek cream for blush and lips I just am not too sure about that part of it the lip part I think I would stick to cheeks but what do I know I could I could totally change my mind by the next time I let you know about these stay tuned I let you guys know when I'm testing stuff sometimes so just keep an eye out for that there's some other stuff they sent me to but I haven't gotten to really explore those too much now I will say I got a product I think two years ago for Christmas that I was really excited about and it's so darn bougie it's so expensive that I felt like I couldn't just like justify it I had to get it as like a Christmas present tell me that's somewhat relatable when it's too expensive that you're like I just can't justify buying that for myself on a random Tuesday so when Adam for Christmas two years ago was like well, what do you want I was like I want some Charlotte Tilbury because it just even the name sounds way too fancy for my everyday life so he did get me the mini version two years ago of the film star bronze and glow palette I have told you before I really like this palette but it's definitely fallen off my radar I want to say probably over the past year and as a lot of you guys know I have been doing a deep cut throat declutter in this beauty space where I have just been taking the whole room apart and really going through every single category but touching every single thing that's actually a very good way to declutter anything in your house, your clothing, your kitchenware, your makeup, your shoes, whatever. Because if you touch everything, you could just scan everything and it's not the same. Once you start touching things, that's when it gets really real. Does it spark joy? You know, the Marie Kondo version, but also do you see yourself using this? Cause just storing it, what's the point? Uh, long story long, I kept this in my collection was like, use it or lose it, get on the bus. What's happening here? I've re-fallen in love with this formula and I've already shown you guys my bronzer collection. I've hit pan on so many of my bronzers. You know bronzers is one of my things. I love it. So I feel like I'm maybe a little particular, not picky, particular, about which bronzers I like and the formulas I like. It's so good. I was even putting this on today to show you in a little bit of filming B-roll footage where I can build up one side of my face here and just really keep packing it on, layering it, but it still looks so smooth. Right now, it looks so smooth on my skin and I do suffer from some texture. I do suffer from bossy pores. So I really loved how this could warm up the perimeter of my face, give me a little bit of that cheekbone. I like to call that, you know, putting back what God forgot to give me. I don't have the high, beautiful cheekbones. I gotta work for it. Contour down the nose, even warm up a little bit down here to kind of give me some of that glowy summer vibes. Give me a little bit of definition there. I really thought it does a beautiful job. So I ended up doing a lot of my makeup this month with this bronzer and just fell in love with it again. Also, I'm not too much of a highlighty girl these days. 
a lot of my products already have some glow in them, a little bit of dew, illumination, because that's also where makeup has gone. Not so much with highlight as it is more, what's that natural, glowy, clean girl vibe look. And for some reason, some glow is coming back in. I think they're, we're kind of going back to that glazed donut vibe a little bit, but in a more subtle way, not like a streak of highlight. This highlighter in here is so amazing. I have this on my cheeks today, on my inner corner, on my shoulders, on my collarbones. This baby diffuses beautifully, so it just looks like it's your skin juiced up. It doesn't look like a streak of highlighter. But also, I feel like you can layer it up and it still does not show texture. And again, that is something I personally suffer from and I'm very aware of the products I can use in specific ways and ones that I cannot. This is a product I could build up to be like, I just want a little bit more right up here or on the shoulders or in that inner corner. And it just diffuses, it gives some blur, but it gives you that glow within gorgeousness and it's pricey. I have the mini version. I've not hit pan on them yet, but I am rediscovering how much I love this formula. It's so yummy, especially for this time of year because we're being bronzy and glowy for summer, right? Um, the humidity here is wild here in the Tampa, Florida area. So please um, be very kind about the floofiness and humidity that is and, and the flyaways that is my hair from all the humidity because it has been wild here, y'all. I do need to tell you about a highlighter that I I love half of it and don't like the other half of it, which is why unfortunately this falls into my fails category for the month. I don't have a ton this month, which is good, but I do have some and this, I loved this on camera and I love it in certain lights, but I can't pack it on the way I want to because there's some stinking glitter in here, glitter flecks that are just looking like I just literally have glitter flecks on me and I'm not in love with that. This is the Bow Babe Beauty Highlighter that we got from a BoxyCharm, I do believe, recently. I don't know if it was the Ipsy bag. I think it was the BoxyCharm. This is a bronze highlighter. This is so up my alley in so many ways. Bronze and highlighting. I just pretty much said that's where we're at right now. And this is a combination of both. Such a perfect product for right now and so up Nicole's alley. But when you put your finger in it, you already start to feel the grit. You kind of feel a little bit of tactness, but there's definitely some grit in here. And it's so stunning. It's so such a perfect champagne, dark chocolatey, glowy color that I'm mad even right now talking about it because it has big chunks of glitter in it that anytime I was using it, I was like, oh, there's like, I, I don't know, 70% of this I love. But when you start seeing the glitter flecks on the face, it detracted for me. It started to look a little too harsh, less of that creamy vibe that I love. It was so frustrating. And I don't even know if you'll be able to see it here on the shoulder. Oh. See, this is what I'm saying. This is why I have a love-hate relationship with this because I love how that shoulder right now is popping. Maybe I'll just make this like a body glow. I might do that, make this a body glow. It's like they could fight crime. Shoot lasers out of my shoulders. You see a lot of the glitter kind of around in the corners where maybe my brush has not gone or my fingers haven't gone. It's got some of the big, I don't even know if it's gonna pick up on camera, but I see it on my face. Every time I try to wear it, I definitely see the flex on the face. I'm gonna try to do some swatching to see if I can show you how it looks on the face. It can also, at least right now on my hand, look a little bit more cakey than it looks on my shoulders right now. Without the glitter, I feel like this would have been a home run product. I'm just, oof, I think I'm just gonna have to, Either no, I'm gonna have some, mm, that's looking a little textured there. Now I look like a glazed donut. Now I've gone too far, but you know, it's okay. It's fine, it washes off. I really just wish this didn't have like the gold glitter flex in it because on the face, they look like they're big chunks and that's just what keeps distracting me in a negative way from the gorgeous glow that the actual formula is giving me. So I'm a little, it's a love hate relationship. I'm not saying I'm decluttering it yet, but I wanna see how much I use this through the summer because this is when I would want this juiced up goddess look, right? Right. I get personally offended for some reason with certain products. I shouldn't be, but I'm just like, oh, I'm just so, I just want you to work. 
All right, I just had a sip of drink and I wanna put on a lip product and I realized that's a perfect segue into the next product that I wanna tell you I am obsessed with right now. And these are three different like lip balms from Pacifica that I had no clue were gonna be as pigmented as they are. Each one of these Pacifica balms seems to have its own unique thing. One is a glower, one is more youthful, one has some collagen in it. And they're all very pigmented. Like the colors of the tubes actually reflect some of the colors that you get when you are applying these babies. And that shocked me. I was not expecting that. Right now, I think I'm gonna pop on the Glow Baby Lip Balm. Super dreamy. Gives your lips this just like amazing glowy pout. It's that juiced up lip look that is just so comfortable yet hydrating, yet it doesn't muss and fuss all over the face to mess up the rest of the makeup because that is such a struggle. I'm gonna try to swatch these for you to show you guys what all of these look like because this dark one definitely comes out dark. These are super juicy, super glossy, but really pigmented. That surprised me, I think, the absolute most. I think they're super comfortable to wear. I have been wearing them back to back to the point, again, I had one of my favorites in my handbag because I knew I could trust it. It was gonna be something comfortable to wear out on the go. And honestly, over the weekends when I've been kind of leaving the house and doing stuff, I know I'm gonna be gone for like five to six hours in the hot, humid weather. Over the weekend, we were out in an event that was just, the sun was beaming on us all day long. This definitely kept my lips from chapping, kept me from getting sunburned. It was really great. I'm not saying there's SPF in here because I honestly don't think that there is, but it definitely kept me hydrated, kept me going, and I really love that I got some color with it as well, but it's still that very clean, fresh look. Got some nice gloss, some nice pout to the lips. I am really impressed and love these Pacifica lippies, these little lip balms a lot. Let's talk about some eyeshadows because I am in the testing time with some old favorites, some new products, and y'all know I just did that big declutter. I had a two-part series on my eyeshadow palettes, and honestly, I am disappointed in something that I was so excited for, and I felt like I was rediscovering this disappointment because I hadn't gotten to touch this Anastasia palette in a while. Now, I will be really 100% with you, as I always am, this is a big guy, so she did get off my radar there for a while, but I let you guys know, even though I think this is so huge, I still think it's so fun, and it's bringing the color back, and honestly, I have been dipping back into some warmer tones, and this past, I don't know, couple of weeks, I have been diving into this big guy because I wanted to play with my shades again, all of my older palettes. And this is in my fails category for some of it. Not all of it, but some of it. This screams summer vibes, right? And I don't know about you, but I am starting to get back into some colorful shadows. But these shimmer shades leave a lot to be desired. The mattes are really good. The mattes are the standouts. I am actually wearing this shade up here today in my crease, along with another palette that I'm gonna be telling you about here in a second. But honestly, the shimmers in here, I forgot, were so lackluster. For as good as these mattes are, also why are these shimmers, like these three shimmers, they don't need to all three be in here. They're all the freaking same practically. They're just, a, you know, they're just slightly different. They are very chalky. I would say they leave a lot to be desired. I haven't touched back into this blue green one here, but you know, I definitely have better shimmers in my collection, 100%. Because when I was trying to rediscover this, that's one of the things I noticed, because I was trying to use all of this on an eye look, and I was like, I gotta get a different shimmer. This just is not cutting it for me. But the mattes, so blendable, so creamy, go really well, layer well, mix with other colors when you want them to. I forgot about that. So honestly, that's probably one of the other reasons that I was like, oh, I'm not totally in love with that, but I couldn't recall why. It's because of the shimmers. Now granted, there's only one, two, two three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of those and the rest of them are mattes, luckily. So I have a feeling I will mostly be using this for the matte shades. Maybe a touch here and there into the shimmers again if I keep it. I am gonna keep using this through the summer, see how I feel about it, but this was something that I was like, oh, I forgot that's why I didn't like you. 
super disappointing. The next palette is super, super bougie. It is four shades and a crazy amount of value. It's four shades and it's like $48. That's too rich for my blood, but I do like getting those things in subscription boxes so I can try them. This is the El Maquillage palette that I received from a BoxyCharm. And I was really grateful that I got the one shimmer, three mattes, because honestly, this palette in particular, this shade right here, has made me really fall back in love with warmer eyeshadow looks for summer. This was something that was kind of like an easy introduction to me back into it because I've been very neutral, very cool toned for a couple of years now, which I never thought would have happened. 2016, Nicole is like, you did cool tones? What? Yeah, loved them, still using them. These are super creamy, super blendable. I have been starting a lot of eye looks with this creamy shade and then popping into this chocolate shade that definitely kind of warms up a little tinge of orange on my skin. It's in my crease today. It's what I was using when I was jumping into that other palette too. I was really loving this. I think it's great. I don't think I would spend 48 of my own dollars on four shades because that feels so limiting and the, just the way I like to do makeup, I want more options. I like to mix it up from day to day, but these are really good. These are really quality. Kind of shocked me, but also kind of didn't because I was like for $48 for four shades. Yeah, better be amazing. But yeah, little guy, really quality, bougie packaging too. But I really do like this. This has been something I've been reaching into pretty regularly, but then I tend to pair it with something else because again, four shades can be limiting for me. Now I have tried these shadows only once. So I, again, am going to be testing things a little bit more. I got these sent to me from Pacifica. These are some of their eyeshadow palettes, and I don't think I've ever tried any of their eyeshadows before. Now, it could have just been the certain shades. It could have just been the way the look came together that I wasn't vibing with it, but these definitely were not blending the way I hoped they would. They were a little chalky, so I'm gonna give this a little bit more time. I'm loving some of the other stuff I got from Pacifica. This neutral palette is definitely something you know your girl would love, so I wanna play with these a little bit more and see how I feel about their formulas in an upcoming video. So stay tuned on first impressions, wasn't loving it, but I want to do some more testing. I don't like to do a one and done situation. So stay tuned for this update. Again, I told you today, don't look at how frizzy my hair is looking thanks to all the humidity, but something that I have been loving for a really long time is function of beauty. I get mine at Target and they are just so amazing because I have like wavy curly hair and I go back and forth between the types of products that I like to use. So I have been using the curly hair shampoo and conditioner by Function of Beauty and been loving it. And I don't know if I tagged them or if they just recently found me and they were like, hey, we'd love to be able to send you some more. What are What is your hair type? And I was like, actually, my hair is kind of wavy slash curly. Can I try the wavy shampoos and conditioners? And they sent them to me. Not sponsored, just kind of sending them to me with no real requirements. And I really appreciate when brands do that because then I feel like they also really trust in their brands. And I had already been using their products. They also sent me their wavy hair mask. I really love it. Personally, I like to know that this brand is cruelty free, but also they cater to different hair types and it doesn't have bad formulations for your hair because we all hear that sometimes when you get stuff from the drugstore, they're not great formulations and they'll put wax on your hair and these do not. I never have an issue with my hair not looking really great after using some of their products. And then they also sent me some of their booster shots. I've not gotten to try these yet. This one is for lengthening here. This one is for strength. This is a deep condition, which I'll probably need soon. Oh, this is what I need right now. The anti-frizz. I've not gotten to try this yet, but I will because we just hit that time of Florida when it's like, whoosh, I'm a poodle. I walked the dogs this morning and honestly, this was the hairdo I had this morning with walking my dog. So this, this is on me, okay? Also looks like rain and I don't know about y'all, if you have curly or wavy hair, once it starts to have a little bit of like, oh, it could rain type weather, whoosh, my hair just go crazy. But I have had some really brilliant curly hair days, wavy hair days, 
with these products even worn them to the beach and my hair still looked great so I definitely wanted to say thank you so much to function of beauty for one having great hair care products but also sending me some so I could let my friends know I have also been doing some updates here in the beauty room that I've told you guys about now I have told you guys that I have been doing some clean outs some declutters I'm thinking about doing an organization video with you guys if you do want to kind of like go through this whole room with me let me know in the comments below I've heard from a few of you guys but if you're not interested in it that's okay too I just recently got a new mirror from Amazon and it has different light settings so you could do like a indoors outdoors medium colors warm it up and you could do multiple layers of it and I am loving this this works so much better for my beauty space it works so much better for the way I like to do my makeup and have mirrors in my beauty room because I don't like mirrors like right in front of my window here because then it just kind of like blocks the window blocks the natural light that I film in front of but I love that this has a nice curved circular design and style and this did not break the bank for me this is not sponsored nobody sent this to me this is a genuine Nicole purchase just to do a little elevation in my beauty room and it was really affordable I love how I can set this up over here and use it when I'm doing my makeup in the morning to get like another side look or with I'm doing my hair hair because I only have a small mirror here so it's not always the easiest to maybe style my hair. I'll go ahead and link that below for you. I always give you guys my Amazon recs and I will have these linked in my Amazon links below. I also have been loving Lily Silk for a while. So this is something that they did send to me. They sent me this gorgeous dress and these fun pants. I really saw these on Amanda Seyfried and I was just like oh my gosh. I love those pants and then Lily Silk reached out to me and we're like hey we wanted to send you some stuff from our celebrity lines which one would you like and I saw Amanda in those pants again and I was like give me those pants so I have been loving loving the Lily Silk I actually have some um pillowcases from them that I have had now for two years I got them when I lived in the tiny house and they really helped my hair to not be as frizzy because believe it or not it can be frizzier it's true so I have been loving the pillowcases that I've gotten from them I'm loving these clothing choices I've even gotten tank tops from them before the dress is super cute super pretty fun for summer as well but I can also wear this going into like spring or fall as well they are also giving you guys a discount I love when brands will give you guys a discount even when it's like they're just sending me something they're not paying me to talk about it they just want me to have it but then they're gonna give you guys a discount I always love and appreciate that because I love passing things on to you guys it's one of the, the fun joys of getting to do this job is get you guys some discounts that are just fun. Thank you so much Lily Silk for sharing those with me. I love that and I love that they're sharing some discounts with my friends. I've also been venturing since you can see I'm in a tube dress today some boob tape. I got this from VBT. They sent me some boob tape because I wear a lot of these tube tops. I wear some things that are maybe a little bit more dramatic that it's hard to wear a, a, a you know I, I I backless bras they I'd like what so I've been trying some boob tape I'm still trying to figure out honestly how I feel about this because just because someone sends it to me doesn't mean I'm just gonna rave about a product now they do have amazing reviews on Amazon so I will say that I'm still learning how to use this my skin is very sensitive though and I do find that it is chafing a little bit when I'm using this tape but I almost wonder if I was using too much of the tape because I have found less is more with this. This is actually a stretchier tape than I thought it was because right now it's on a backing. So when I cut it, I was finding that this actually stretches way more once I take the paper off. So I wonder if I was just using too much. So then when I was taking it off, it was like pulling on the skin a little too much. I, I you know, I don't know yet. I'm still experimenting with this. I have taken it off in the shower the second time I used it with some lotions and some soaps to hopefully help it, um, from having irritation on the skin. So I'm trying to kind of figure this out right now, but they do have amazing reviews on Amazon. If you are an expert at the boob tape, let me know if you've tried this brand before. They have great reviews. I'm still learning how to use this product. And if there's a discount code, I'll be putting this in my description box for you as well. Guys, I actually have so much more stuff that I am trying right now behind the scenes to review for you guys. So keep letting me know, do you like these faves and fails? Because sometimes I hear a lot of yay and sometimes the views are down so I just wanted to make sure if this is still the kind of content you guys are wanting to see from me at the end of the month I already have a shipment notification 
from BoxyCharm. They are delivering right at the beginning of the next month, which I so appreciate. So stay tuned. That video I'm sure is going to be coming up right next. And if you happen to be new to my channel, hi new friends. I really hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on my other content that is coming and I will see you in the next one. Bye friends.